So I'm going to have a quick look at calendar with a K. Of course, it's with a K. It's from the KDE project. So right now I have the version that just came out. I also have version 1.0.0. And this is Monjero testing, but it should be it should be unstable by now. It depends on KDE PIM runtime, event views, QQC2 desktop style. And if you're going to connect to Google services, it also requires Econati. Let's have a quick look. It's under Office, Calendar. This is a replacement for K Organizer. And just right off the bat, it looks really nice. Simple, clean, efficient. On the month view, you have a week view. You have day view. Schedule view. This is really nice if you have a pretty full schedule. Task view. And then you have your, your task list here. Go back to month view. In order to click on a day, you actually have to be in this little little tiny zone right here next to the number in order to click on the day. I really wish they made it to where you could click. Uh, double click and we'll add an event. I really wish they made it where you could click anywhere inside of the day to get that day instead of just right there in that little confined area. Maybe that's something they'll work on in the future. That'll be nice. And as you can see, double click, you can add an event. And to, as you can see on the side here, I'm going to blur out a little bit of this, but I think you can tell that uh, on the side here, I have uh, my Google Calendar going on. It was really, really easy to set up. You do, re it does require Aconite in order to use the Google Calendar, Calendar Sources, and I have, it says Google Groupware, I'm not, why, I'm not sure why it says Groupware, I don't know, but that's what it is, but to add Google Calendar, just click Add, find Google Groupware, double click on it, it gets this, it says not configured, hit configure, it will go to the web page and to where you can give permission for Econati resources to use Google services. Once you click on your associated profile, the next page will say, yes, it's okay. And then you can close that window out. And now you have Google Calendar. It really is that easy. It's, they couldn't have made it much simpler. I love it. Really good. I did get a notification on my Android phone saying, was this you? Yes, it's me. And you can also create by hitting the create button over here, new event. And then you can assign the calendar that you want to assign it to. You can set the day, you can make it all day, time zone, repeat options, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, custom. Location, description, tags, really cool. Reminders, set your reminder on how often you want to be reminded, how soon. Attendees, you can choose from contacts or you can fill it in manually. Pretty cool. I've not tested it out yet. I'm assuming if you fill it in manually that Google will send them a notification. I haven't tried that yet. However, the look is really nice. I really like it. Uh, I think I went through this already as your week view, day view, scheduled view. Yeah, this is the one I like. The scheduled view is pretty handy. That is a, oh, and you also have show completed. So that's pretty cool. Really nice. Love the layout. A couple of minor things that I wish they would not necessarily fix, but take a look at like clicking on the anywhere in the day should take you to that day. It just should. Hopefully they'll fix that. You do have the option to show a menu bar, which is pretty standard with KDE apps. They give you the options. Sometimes they give you too many options, but I'd much rather have too many choices than not about calendar. 
1.0.0 license GPL version 3 libraries in use KDE frameworks 5.91.0 XCB windowing system QT5 15.2 very nice I like it and it's huh, way better than K organizer yeah but anyway little short video for that hope you got something out of it thanks for watching